Quickly remove wrinkles or smoothen out surfaces in your product photography using Photoshop's handy feature called Surface Blur so that you guys can create better looking product shots. What is up guys, welcome back to The Raw Factory. My name is Jacob and the goal of this channel is to help you become a better food and product photographer. Now in today's video, I wanna show you a quick way to remove creases and wrinkles from your product shots using a Photoshop feature called Surface Blur. So the first thing you wanna do is load up your image into Photoshop. Right click and duplicate the layer. I'm gonna call it Surface Blur. Make sure your layer is not locked. Go up to Filter. Blur, Surface Blur. Play around with the radius and threshold to see what works for you. I'm setting my radius to 20 and my threshold to 17. And click OK. Now, I don't want the surface blur to affect my whole image. I only want to apply the surface blur to the areas of where the creases are on my product. So, I am going to apply a layer mask. So right now, Photoshop has automatically made my layer mask white. Therefore, everything can be seen on that layer. To swap this to black, click Command-I on your keyboard. This will invert the color. So now that everything is hidden on that layer, nothing can be seen, I can paint in with white to reveal areas that I want to be seen on that specific layer, thank you to the layer masks. Just make sure you are on the layer mask when you are painting in with the white or black paint. Also, if you set your hardness to 0% when you're brushing in with the brush tool, you will notice that it blends in a lot better. And the keyboard shortcut that reveals all the bits and bobs that you've been painting in, which I taught in my last Photoshop tutorial, if you click that key on your keyboard, it shows all the good stuff. The red being obviously what's hidden, and what I can see that isn't red is obviously what's being shown. And now for the before and after. What do you guys think? Not bad, right? Now you can also use this feature on other things such as surfaces on food or other products. For example, I recently shot some donuts and I want to smooth out the icing on the donut. So I used the surface blur feature which helps smoothen out the surface. Also, this cupcake shot right here. I wanted to smoothen out the chocolate icing oozing out of the cupcake. So I used the surface blur on that too, yeah. Pretty cool, hey? So, moral of this tutorial is, if you have surfaces that need smoothing, use the Surface Blur tool. Use it, I dare you. Well, that is all for me today, guys. I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, help others find this video, and I will see you all in the next one. Remember, don't wait, make something creative today. Catches.